What is good, Boss Nation? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Madden 18 Ultimate Team, man. I hope you guys are all having a good day. As you guys see right here in front of you, I have a brand new Madden 18 Ultimate Team episode. We're going to do a lot. We're going to open packs. We're going to make some changes to our team. But as you guys see, I mean, we're looking flawless. The offense is incredible. Let's switch on over to the defense. We brought in Ray Lewis recently. You guys see the Miami University connection with Sean Taylor, Ray, of course, Ed Reed. Like I said, this team is looking flawless. They dropped brand new signature players, including guys like Roger Safford the third, 98 overall left guard, and also Desmond Trufant. Let's take a look at his stats. They also dropped brand new master players. Now, this is very interesting because if you guys have any silver, gold, or elite tokens sitting around, you can go ahead and do some of these sets. So, for the silver master player, it is T.Y. Hilton, 97 overall. You need to basically add in 90 silver tokens and you will get yourself that 97 overall T.Y. Hilton. The gold token master is the man himself, Telvin Smith. You need 30 gold tokens to get that card last but not least the elite token set all you need to do is add in 20 elite tokens and you will get this 99 overall eric berry it's about time they released a new updated version of his card we're gonna go ahead and open up this bundle right here 10 game changer packs and you got a bundle topper of a flashback and a season veteran i bought two of them in total we got 20 game changer packs we'll leave the flashback and the season veteran for the finale but first let's go ahead and tackle some of these game changer packs all gold or better we get ourselves a full Mike singletary muhammad sanu i mean that promo is outdated a lot of these cards are outdated Honestly, this bundle was very frustrating because at this point of Madden, we should be getting more of the newer promo players. Like, I do not want to be getting a regular legend, Mike Singletary. Those things just don't go for a lot. And check out this pack right here. Same issue once again. All the pulls that I got from that bundle was basically old promo players, like base elites. No one wants to get those, like I said, at this point of month. Our flashback topper is JJ Watt, season veteran. Have they even dropped brand new season veteran players? We get ourselves a 92 Morgan Burnett. See, some of these things need to be addressed. Like, if we're getting flashback or season veteran in the bundle toppers, they should be updated. Like, they should release more players in those categories. The first move I'm making, though, is getting rid of Ed Reed. I hated doing that but at the same time i really want to bring in eric berry into our team look at this secondary man i still got one more move on defense didn't want to do this as well denzel ward his time on our team is up i still want to keep rod woodson and night train lane to join them is desmond true front the brand new signature edition 560 000 coins that is all the moves that i will be making on defense Let's switch on over to the offensive side of things. I'm only addressing two positions, the right guard and the left guard. Both of them have exited the building. Our brand new right guard is going to be, yes, the Redskins' very own Brandon Sheriff. Our new left guard is going to be Roger Saffold himself. Like I said, those are all the changes that I'm making. I know the offensive line it's not like a huge upgrade from what we had previously, but I still wanted to get Brandon Sheriff on the scene. As you see with the chemistry boost, he is 99 overall. No other changes will be made. It is time to go ahead and jump into, I don't know, like two games online. We are jumping into our first game online. If you guys enjoyed all those upgrades, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if there's any other positions you guys want me to work on, let me know. Also, there's always a link in the description to the full playlist so you guys can catch up on any episode that you have missed. I got to get Leonard Fournette going in this episode because he costs way too many coins. And we bought him for like 1.7 and in his debut, we didn't get much production. I feel like although I am the one to blame. So, like I said, in this episode, I'm trying to get him going up the middle. That was too easy. 
Look, I don't know about you guys, but I am getting more and more excited as we get closer to the kickoff of the NFL. Right now, the NBA is crazy as well because you got LeBron playing against Boston. Who would have thought Boston without Kyrie and Gordon Hayward would have made it? To the Eastern Conference Finals. So they're taking on LeBron. Like I said, it's going to be such an interesting series. Over on the West, you got the Rockets taking on the Warriors. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm really excited. And the fact that football is right around the corner. Man, what a time to be alive and check out this interception by night train lane. Oh, the back juke. I tried everything that I could to take that one to the house. It didn't happen, but it's all good. We're up 14 to nothing. Baker Mayfield, go with a play action. Look at this. Gets rid of it to Leonard Fournette. Are you kidding me? Bring out the red carpet. Oh, and look at this. Our opponent has had enough. Okay, his top three was looking right. All 99s, I see you. We just got to come out here and do better. Good start by Baker. Finding Calvin on that previous play. He's taking a shot deep to Clark here, but it gets picked off. I don't know why I threw that. Okay. Who is that as his quarterback? Wait, I think that's Case Keenum. His quarterback is Case Keenum. Right here, he's dropping all the way back. Third and 23. Give me that user interception. I don't even know Bruce Smith got hands like that. And he even returned this all the way to the 22-yard line. My, oh my, what an interception by Bruce Smith. But guess what? Your boy, once again out here, playing dumber than a bucket of shrimp. I mean, what kind of a read was that by me? Still 0-0. Zero zero. Both teams are just throwing picks left and right. Let's see who is going to go on the scoreboard first. Face with a third and 10. Case Keenum. Dropping all the way back. Gets picked off. That's Rod Woodson. The camera switch is trying to mess up your boy from returning this one to the house. Bring out the red carpet. So throwing that pick six. Let's see how he responds here. With 55 seconds remaining, throws another one. This time, it is the brand new card that we got. Desmond Trufon What an interception. I take over here once again. Make the worst read possible. He was playing cover two. He picked this one off. And tied the game up. Man, this game has been super defensive. I mean, I am playing so crusty on offense, but right here, I finally made a smart read. Got that catch with Julio Jones. Moments later, with six seconds remaining, Julio is left wide open. In a matter of seconds, we were able to take the lead and go into the locker room. My opponent takes over here with two minutes left in the third quarter, second and six throws it oh my that should have been a interception i don't know how we were not able to come out with a pick right there on the previous play third and six this time sean taylor secures it for us another interception thrown here i think both teams combined have at least thrown six interceptions by now as long as we stay composed in the second half and don't do what we did in the first half we'll be good baker right here scrambles and picks up a first down. We are officially into the fourth quarter. Right up the middle. Leonard Fournette keeps getting closer and closer. How is this not a touchdown? I don't know how that last play wasn't a touchdown. We are marked just short. But with this quarterback sneak, Baker Mayfield makes it 21-7. to And just like that here in game number two, our opponent once again has had enough. Boss Nation, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, make sure you comment below and let me know what players I should bring in into the next episode. Tomorrow, I will do a brand new episode with 
the new legends that they dropped. I'll see you guys then. Continue being amazing, people. I am signing out.